one of the major problems we see here at sunset doesn't actually occur during the school day, but after. At the end of a long day of stressing about exams, papers, and homework, all a student wants to do is get home and prepare for the next day. And the time it takes to get out of the student parking lot is ridiculous. On average, it takes students 15 minutes and 12 seconds. One of the main causes of this is that parents pick up their students in both parking lots. This only contributes to the time it takes to leave the lots after school. As the amount of traffic worldwide increases, it is extremely important that we do our part to reduce the impact of this issue. As a community, we have the opportunity to reduce traffic in order to prevent a major safety hazard, reduce pollution, and increase student productivity. Having another car bump into you in the student parking lot is an inevitability that all students face. It's just a matter of time before it's a student that is hit by a car and injured. If the number of cars in the parking lot is reduced, the amount of other cars a driver has to think about while exiting the parking lot is reduced, and therefore the number of possible accidents is reduced. Reducing traffic can also work to reduce pollution. There are about 350 cars each day that exit the student parking lot. The average amount of time that these cars spend in the lot is 15 minutes, meaning a total of 5,250 minutes or 88 hours of gas is used. Assuming each car has an average amount of fuel consumption, this means 44 gallons of gas. Additionally, the 88 hours of student time that is lost leads to missed assignments, stressed students, and a loss of sleep. This bucket represents a student parking lot, and the water in it represents the students' cars. This hole in the bucket represents the parking lot exit, and as you can see, it takes a long time for all the water to drain when there is only one exit. And when you have parents entering, it takes even longer. When you add another hole or another exit and don't add more water or prevent parents from entering the lot to pick up students, it drains much faster, reducing the amount of time spent exiting the lot and the amount of gas used and the number of accidents. The solution we found was to add an additional exit in the back of the parking lot to decrease the amount of congestion. Another fix to the traffic is to require that parents pick up students in the front of the school where they are supposed to be picking up students. This way, people can leave both lots without having to worry about being blocked by a parent waiting for a student. The third idea we propose is encouraging students to walk, bike, take the bus, or carpool with fellow students. These fixes are easier, more cost effective, and altogether much more feasible compared to building a new parking lot that allows for better traffic flow. A simple exit with a single gate allows the parking lot security to lock the exit and only open it during the morning and afternoon when students are in the parking lot. This addition would be greatly appreciated by all of the students who drive because nobody wants to wait in unnecessary traffic. We really hope that this video will have a positive impact on the community and will inspire change. Thank you for your time.